Hello, class, and welcome back to Viva Barca. Welcome to another interesting episode where we are going to be discussing on the latest update. We start with second choice goalkeeper Inaki Pena, as the Barca goalkeeper has informed his agent to listen to offers, but Barcelona wants him to stay. We are going to be discussing on that as we move ahead. Then, secondly, we are going to be talking about Ansu Fati as the Barca forward entourage are worried about his status in the team amid Premier League offers. We are also going to be discussing more on that. So guys, as we get right into the full stories, please do ensure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified. Whenever I post a new video, consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. Barca! According to Ferran Martinez of Mono Deportivo, the coming week could be crucial for Barcelona with regards to the future of second choice goalkeeper Inaki Pena. The 24 year old La Masia graduate is in the final year of his contract with Barcelona. Towards the end of last year and early this year, it looks certain that the Spaniard will pen a new deal and continue at the Camp Nou beyond this season. However, things have changed over the past couple of months with negotiations over a renewal coming to a complete standstill. This is because Pena wants to play regularly, which is not possible currently at Barcelona, thanks to Mark andre Ter Stegen's spectacular form. While the young star was given a chance in the Catalans' first two Copa del Rey matches against Intercity and Shueta, he was out of the lineup versus Real Sociedad, which did not sit well with him. Pena wants continuity in the team and has hence informed his agents to listen to other offers. There is unlikely to be a shortage of suitors either, with clubs in Turkey, where he spends the second half of the last season on loan, set to be interested. Closer to home, some La Liga clubs such as Real Betis, have also shown an interest in acquiring Inaki Pena services for free in the summer. Barcelona, however, are hoping to convince Inaki Pena to stay put at the club, at least for one more year. The Catalans are in a difficult situation heading into the summer window thanks to their financial fair play woes, which will limit their spending power significantly. Given the situation, they are aware that it would be difficult to find a suitable number two for Mark Andre Ter Stegen like Inaki Pena if he leaves. Hence, the Blaugrana hope to convince the 24-year-old Spaniard to stay for at least one more year. But in case an agreement over a new deal is not reached, third choice goalkeeper Arnold Tenas could be promoted to the number two status. The 21-year-old also has a contract expiring this year, but Barcelona retained the option of unilaterally extending it by two more years, which they would trigger. Of course, Inaki Pena still continues to be worried about his game time situation and still wants to go out of Barca to look for game time elsewhere. But I think he himself should know better. That with the Stegen in the form that he is currently, then there's no chance for Inaki Pena to, to, to be the first choice or to, to, to have game time. Javi, I don't think Javi can, can bear the risk of doing that. The Stegen is in the form of his life and you don't expect the Stegen to be dropped because Inaki Pena wants game time. There are second choice goalkeepers that are far worse than him in, in many teams. And I just hope that he, he just needs to understand. He's still far younger than Ter Stegen. And he's a very fantastic goalkeeper. The, the club likes him a lot. That is why Barcelona really wants him to stay even for one more season. But the player is only telling his entourage that look for me or some clubs if they are there. But I think that his time will definitely come if he is patient. But from the look of things, he is impatient. And... You don't expect their second to be dropped anytime soon as he will always remain the top choice as far as he is in good shape. So let's see how what happens. This even if, if Barca can convince you know the second choice goalkeeper in Pena to change his mind, which for me I don't think he will because the, since it started since last year when reports were coming out like this that Inaki Pena is not happy about 
his game time situation and considering a potential exit but Barcelona might by might might try to you know to to convince him his contract expires end of the season which means that Barca will receive nothing if the season comes to an end and no decision is being made he will leave as a free agent and I don't think Barca would like that to happen then on to the final story of discussion Barcelona forward Ansu Fati's future has been a subject of contention at the Camp Nou recently especially after the attacker's inconsistent performances this term, despite being held as one of the most talented players to come out of the academy in recent years. The player has fallen out of favour in the first team. He has featured in 24 league matches so far, only 9 of which have been stats. According to Catalonia Radio, Fatih's environment is worried about his future at Barcelona. They have noticed that young players such as Gavi, Alejandro Bardé and Pedri have become crucial elements in the first team, whereas Fati is yet to establish himself as a regular. Fati's struggles have not gone unnoticed and there is a sense of feeling inside the Barcelona camp that the attacker should be offloaded at the end of the season. This is because the attacker can generate substantial revenue that could go a long way in balancing the books. The report from Catalonia Radio further states that Fati's future will be determined at the end of the season and will depend on how he performs until then. At the moment, he has struggled to make an impression, even with key players such as Usman Dembele out injured. The report adds that Fati's family has received important offers from the Premier League over a potential move to England in the coming summer. Even his super agent Josh Mendes has been reportedly working on engineering a move to Premier League for the young Barca attacker. Arsenal, Liverpool and Manchester United are among some of the English clubs linked to the move for the Barca number 10 as he looks ahead to an uncertain summer. Ansu's father, Bori Fati, met with Barca directors Matteo Alemani and Yuri Cruyff recently on Monday to discuss his game time situation and he was reportedly assured that the club continued to count on the young forward. Whether that remains the case come summer remains to be seen. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.